Flavour chasing. Flavour chasing. Hardest job in the world. Hardest job in the world, I tell you. Getting decent clouds and flavour. Oh. <laughs> Hello YouTube people, thank you very much for joining me once again. I'm Dean, the Vaping Biker, and I am here today to look through the Aromamizer RDTA. No, no, the Aromamizer RDA from Steam Crave. And it's a rather splendid little piece of kit. Now, before we go any further, I apologize for the state of this. It's fairly early in the morning and I've not had a chance to sort my shit out yet. I was gonna wear a cap, but um, it was promoting a, a juice that I don't have and uh, haven't tried. So I figured that would probably be a bit rude. Um, but these guys, by the way, these guys, when I was on honeymoon at Fort Aventura, um, we, me and the wife hired a trike, a Rewacko trike, and went tearing around the island. And they were bloody marvellous. The cool, cool runnings guys in Fort Ventura. Awesome. If you ever want to go there, hair around an island on a big bastard trike, totally the way forward. Flavour chasing Atty with clouds, by the way. Oh, yes. <laughs> right, let's dive down and have a look. All right then, people, here we are up close and personal with the Steam Crave Aromamizer RDA. Now, I am manual focusing today, so whoopay! That wouldn't upset your day if you're watching this after having a couple of drinks at all. Now then, I'm trying to get everything as clean as we can, so we'll see what we can do. So, straight up front, we've got the logo, we've got the Cyclone Airflow Aromamizer RDA, not the Aromamizer RDTA or any of the other Aromamizers but the Aromizer RDA, most flavorful RDA. Um, we've got steamcrave.com, designed by BJ, logo, thingamajig, um, scratch and sniff, tells you which model you've got, and there we go. And then underneath, taste your flavor, taste your flavor. Balanced vapor temperature, spit back protection, yep, yep, uh, get that one, no leaking from vent holes. So. Oh, what does it say at the bottom there? Design patents. Okay, so let's crack it open. I have been using this, so this isn't exactly the way it's packaged, but it's pretty damn close. You've clearly got your little blue screwdriver. I'm still incredibly, incredibly excited in my life about the blue screwdriver I got from the Safe Ball with the, with the little uh, um, Allen key thingamajig on it. If you've been watching my um, previous... Um, videos or my Instagram or Facebook you'd have seen that I've just been horrifically happy about that probably too much anyway we've got the unit itself which we'll come to in a second we have a ring Look at that we'll come to that in a second we have a 510 adapter we have spares and then under there some instructiones should you decide that you wanted to read them. But it tells you everything you get in the box and it tells you the other options and what else is out there, which is nice and handy. So in manner of keeping this quite swift, let's move this to one side. Now, I'll come to that in a second actually. Drip tip, we'll take the drip tip off. The drip tip is, this is the anti spit back affair. So you've got the holes that come through the sides but you, you don't get any spit back. What that doesn't mean though, is it doesn't protect you fully from, if you over drip, if you put far too much in there, you will still get a little bit of juice come through those holes, but not a massive amount. It's incredibly wide bore, as you can see. Um, feels strange putting something that wide in your mouth. Um, this will come to in a second. My light is all over the place today, thanks to the sunlight. And this is the 510 adapter, again, with the um, with the anti-spitback affair. Oh, all fingers and thumbs today. So every 510 that I've found goes into there fine, and everyone's a winner. So let's have a look at the main event. Right up top there, where this larger... Um, drip tip goes and the 510 adapter voila 
Um, I think it looks pretty sweet like that, by the way. I think that that looks nicer than. Uh, come on, you bugger. Than that, but that's only my opinion. So. We've got an insulator around the top there to help prevent your drip tip getting too hot. This is also your airflow control. So if I move this top ring around, you can see you're getting, how am I doing this? There we go. What I have found, ah, shit. dropping everywhere. Honestly, I am the white twisted 420. Right. So what I have found is you'll see that, I'll get a screwdriver to show you, that that lip sits under there. Now if you've seen my other videos, you've seen you've probably seen me whinge about hot air holes that don't quite meet up. It just really upsets my, uh, my um, OCD. But there you go, it's just one of those little things. So yeah, this turns round, close off your airflow. Now you've got one, two, and three so one two three so that produces plenty of air where does it go I hear you ask you can take that top cap off which is your airflow control ring just leaving you here uh, not really a requirement to take that top cap off at any stage but it's just good for cleaning we'll take this off and what happens in there you might be able to see there is a kind of a this is the inside whizzy bit these are kind of fins that go around the inside, which push the air out at an angle. Now, let me see if I can get a nice close-up going on. Yeah, that's pretty much in focus, isn't it? So, it looks like kind of blades going around on the inside, but what it does is it makes the makes the air sort of spin in a vortexy kind of way. Um, now what happens when you don't want that? If you don't want that, it does lead to a slightly restricted airflow, without a doubt. Oh no, now how do I get in focus from here? Oh no, how does that work? Uh, there we go. Um, it does restrict the airflow slightly, but it does do a fabulous job with the taste. So what I've been finding is I have been using that um, this internal with the cyclone with this drip tip kind of setup. So when I've been really looking at, at, uh, at flavor chasing, oh, I've got some of the O-ring in there. Look. Get that off. Um, when I've been really looking at pushing into the flavor, that's the setup that I've been going with. And that's been rocking it, uh, sort of a, a pleasant kind of 35, 40 watts, and then some just for, uh, just for the flavor point of view. Now what happens when you want, um, when you want to go for more clouds. Well, originally I thought that this was quite poor because of this, because of this, the air goes into the sides here um, and then it kind of spins around there and everyone's winning, but it does restrict it. So I was thinking, well, great for flavor, but crap for clouds. Turns out if you get a screwdriver, because it took me bloody ages to figure out what this was for, it achieved nothing, couldn't figure it out, could not suss it out. And then as I, I was actually watching Vaping with Vic's review um, on the same tank. Oh, I've got things going off now. Oh, phone calls and everything. Um, and he highlighted this, and I believe he had seen it off another reviewer. So who says reviewers don't achieve anything? Now, if you pop a little screwdriver into, can you see that ledge in there? Oh, just right there. Yeah, if you pop a screwdriver into there and give it a little bit of a push, that comes out. And that is what's going on with your air. So the air will come in at the top through the air holes and then it will go whoosh, 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 and all oh, phones go mental. Um, and so it'll go round and round, round circles. So that's that. But if you pop this one in, which is essentially just a case of popping it up, up there. Now, once again, I couldn't figure out, this is a rubbish way of putting things in and out, by the way. Couldn't figure out the best way of getting it in and out. But what I have found is once you line it up a little bit, get a juice bottle, 
push it in and bosh there you go you're in now what that means is your air is not unrestricted there's no whizzy roundy fanny affairs so it will just come out like a monster which is great it does mean that you are a little bit more prone to leakage but that's uh that's pretty kind of Oh, phone's still going. That's not overly likely to be going on, to be honest with you. So, unless you leave it on its side, obviously. So there we go. That's the that's the clever parts, the internals of the uh, the aromatizer RDA. As the deck, you do have a basic straight ahead three post setup. Uh, the one of the things that I think pretty much everybody who uses one of these will find. Well, I say that it's. I know people have have been okay with it, but a lot of people I've spoken to. These heads, headed screws are horrific. I had many issues with these, both on the dripper and on the um, and on the uh, RDTA. Now, the best thing to do with these is get rid of all of these, Bosch, and in here you'll find that you've actually got some grub screws. So, if I do some of that, what you've got right around there is some grub screws to play with so change those out i would do that before even trying to build coils in it to be honest with you just because it makes life a lot 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 easier so that's it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop a coil in here and and we'll go up top we'll vape it we'll talk about it i'll change the rings and we'll have a little look at the difference in airflow and taste happy days you know when you're in a rush and you think, oh, I've really got to do this quickly, but, oh, no, I'll just have a play with that. And like a magpie, something grabs your eye. I just was dicking around with the coil when I was putting some normal coils in here. And then I thought, well, ooh. So what I did was I put that little thing there. One vertical, one solid, or one straight. And it fires like a champ. Okay. Not quite brilliant but there you go anyway i'm going to take that out and do a proper one <laughs> <clears throat> all right then people so we've been up close and personal with the aroma miser rda and we've had a little look at the different options and i did a very silly build because i forgot that i was in a rush today anyway i've done a dual coil um it's a bit it's a bit messy it's not one of my best to be honest with you um i have broken uh, my normal kind of requirements in as much as I've gone over a three mil as opposed to two and a half it's not the tidiest but it works and that's the key thing um, and I was looking for for big wicking just well just because really so I pop some Lushington on there from stash as always I've got the cyclone bit still out so this is just full mashings let's have some thinking about it this is probably not the best coil choice choice but We'll see where we get on. So 60, 60 watts on the iStick, 100 watt at 0.37 ohms. So who knows what wattage that's actually going to be. <laughs> Just realised I've still got my fan on. There we go, we'll take that off. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Let's take this up. I am going to put that to 80 watts. 80 watts. Now, because of that, um, because of that anti-spit back drip tip, I think I'm still getting some restriction. So what I'll do is I'll put my little drip tip on there and see what difference that makes. Oh, that makes a massive difference. And even to the flavour, that's forcing the peachiness from the Lushington straight onto my tongue. It's reducing the airflow. Uh, not reducing the airflow. It's reducing the restriction. And it tastes great. Yeah, all over that. That is the business. Oh, that That is now my favourite way of doing this. God, that nice warm vape. And that's pushing it straight onto my tongue. That's really tasty. All right, I'm going to pause this for a second and I am going to um, put the little whizzy one in there. See what difference that makes.
And we're back. So I didn't have to actually spend much time taking the uh, the flat one out at all. It kind of, it was really, really difficult the first couple of times, but screwdriver down the side, pops out, put the other one in, juice bottle, push it on, fixed. Right, let's have a blast on this. I don't think I'm gonna do 80 watts. I think I'm gonna do 60 again. And see where we're at. So that's at 60 watts, a little bit of rejuicing. This is the reason that I use Lushington on all the RDA reviews, because it really does, I mean, I love the flavor and I know what it tastes like. And so using it on everything gives everything a fair kind of crack of the whip, if you like. Right, obviously with the way this is designed, because you've got the three air inlets, and especially because of the cycloniness, it doesn't matter where which way around your, your cap goes. Um, so you can make it kind of sit wherever you fancy, really. Right, let's have a little blat on here. That, that restriction of the airflow actually cooled it down a little bit. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put the bigger drip tip back on again. Yeah, and that, that doesn't really work. Having the big drip tip with the restricted airflow of the cycloniness. Vapor happening in the place, by the way. Um, the window's open as well. Um, it does, that does, those bottom bits are a good idea, and I really like it, um, but I think it does restrict it too much. When you've got a wide ball going on, when you've got the wide ball, you kind of automatically program to think that it's going to be, uh, it's going to be um, super open. Hang on, I'm going to have a sip of coffee. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I mean that was that was getting quite warm. So let me just say show you how quickly I pop this out. Drip tip off, screwdriver down the side, rest it on the table so it doesn't go through my finger. Safety first, people. That's that out. New one goes in, just pops in there. Try and get it in the middle. Juice bottle. And in it goes. And we're on. We're good. So, drip tip goes on top. Yeah, air flows open. That's my favourite way. Personally, for my style of vaping, that works for me. Airflow wide open, thinner drip tip on the top. Um, and the the flat the this does help in on lower wattage I've found so lower wattages um, less vapor production more flavor the cyclone works really well it doesn't um, make one coil kind of get hotter than the other one if you like it doesn't kind of focus more in one way or the other it just swishes and whirls around all up in there so it kind of it does work But that's great, that's great. So all in all, it is a brilliant, brilliant flavor atomizer. It works out really well for flavor for me. Um, oh, don't lean on the desk, Dean. Um, it works out brilliantly for flavor and I really, really like it. I really like the way that you haven't got to worry, much like things like the Kennedy and so on, you haven't really got to worry about where the cap goes, it just goes on. Um, and yeah, the flavor is superb. And vape production isn't isn't terrible either. So, yeah, thumbs up, thumbs up. Out of the two Aroma Miser um, products, I still prefer the uh, the tank. And on that note, I don't think I mentioned before. I may have mentioned in the vlog, but I put a temp control. I put a single twenty, uh, no, single thirty gauge. Was it thirty gauge? It was either thirty gauge or twenty six gauge. I think it was 30 gauge single 30 gauge spaced coil in it in the tank and oh my word on temperature control it just did phenomenally but going back to the rda though really good really it's a brilliant flavor chasing rda um i am going to be buying a couple more of these to send out to some buddies of mine because i think you know they should 
have a go at one of these. For some reason, these aren't really in the public consciousness as much as they should be because they're great. Um, Steam Crave and BJ has managed to come up with a couple of brilliant, brilliant tanks that look good. I think the simplicity of it makes it look fabulous. Um, let's have a little look at the 510. I think the 510 is adjustable. Let me just check for you. Yeah, we've got an adjustable 510, so we can have that coming out. Focus. There we go. So that's out like a monster. Um, so all good for the... Uh, I'm just checking the centre posts on horrifically loose now. I've loosened that. Um, 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 where is my Allen key? You don't get an Allen key. No, centre post is fine. You don't get an Allen key with the uh, with the set. So bearing in mind that you have to use the grub screws really to, uh, to keep everything locked down. Um, I'm quite surprised about that. I am quite surprised. But let me just pop it on a. Uh, pop it on. I would use one of my Bay City Vapor. Um, one of my basically vapor uh, mods, but I polished those up because it's vape fest, and I am not going to get them covered in fingerprints just for the sake of it. So no, 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 no. Stick it in the old Phantom. No battery rattle. That looks. That doesn't look too shabby. That looks all right, doesn't it? Not bad at all. So that, ladies and gentlemen, nice little setup. Great flavour chasing. Um, you can get cloudy with it as well, and that's absolutely super, but um, this is possibly not the best coil for clouds on a mech, but it is great for flavour on a mech. So all gravy. That, ladies and gentlemen, is my take on the Steam Crave Aromizer RDA. It works, it does everything it says on the tin, and it does it all rather well and brilliantly. It's really affordable. I should have probably got the old website up, but I didn't because I'm not prepared and I'm being lazy. And this is so not going to be a quick, quick uh, review, which sucks because I really wanted to make it a quick one today. But hopefully... No, I haven't got I haven't got fiber optic. Fiber optic should have been switched on yesterday. It so hasn't been. Bastard. Right, let me have a quick um, look on the website. Now I got mine from the Nobacanists again. Um, it was given to me free for review. And I'm a big fan. Once again, the Nobacanist guys, super helpful, really nice guys. So if you uh, if you need any assistance with anything, I'm sure they'd be more than happy to help you. Um, their website is the dash no backinists, so N O B A double C O N I S T S. Um, oh my word! Oh, here we go. It's the V2 that I have, and they are selling it currently for thirty-one pounds and ninety-five pence. It's in stock. Uh, the kit comes complete with everything you need, aromizer RDA, drip tip, spare rubber seals, um, with a with a spelling mistake there, people. Uh, screwdriver, 510 drip tip adapter, cloud chasing airflow part, <laughs> which is the flat one, not this one. Uh, um, optional hex screws and Allen key. But yeah, thirty one ninety five for a genuine product that really does perform well. It's what made well. Um, the all of the uh, O-rings are nice and solid. That's not coming off anywhere. Um, the drip tip, the same, but it's nice and easy to pull off. It's not too restricted. The top cap is a little bit snug, but that's what you want so it doesn't fall off and upset where your, your airflow setting is. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Running out of juice. Oh, oh, pressing things on the keyboard. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I do apologise for it being longer than I wanted, but as it happens, I prefer to give you the right information and as much as I possibly can. So uh, thank you very much for watching. As 
ever. If you've got any comments, please leave them. I'd leave, leave, leave them below and I will do my best to answer them. I try and get through all, all of my comments. Uh, I'm at that lucky stage at the moment where I can, obviously. Obviously, when the channel blows up, <laughs> no, it's uh, it's it's important to me to uh, um, interact with everybody as much as I possibly can. So, if I don't see you before, if I see you at Vote Fest, pop in and say hi. Pop in, pop up. No, that doesn't even work. I'm rushing. I shouldn't be rushing. Um, pop over, say hello, give me a handshake, and uh, yeah, we'll have a chat. But thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if this is your first video. Check out the other ones. Keep living the dream. Keep vaping safe. Make sure if you hybrid, you've got a nice long 510. Everybody, I, don't, I was going to vape then unnecessarily. You keep having it large! <laughs>